Hey guys, I am Kate Bullman and I am so excited to be joined by Dave Kirpin. He is, he's just so awesome. He is the founder and CEO of Likeable Local. He is the co-founder and chairman of Likeable Media. He is an international speaker. He's a New York Times best-selling author of three books, <laughs> including that one that he just held up. And uh, he is one of the most influential people. I mean, you're the most, you're the 25th most followed person online. You write for LinkedIn um, and you're just all around an amazing businessman. So thank you for taking the time, Dave. <laughs> Well, thank you for, for having me, and thanks so much for that amazingly generous uh, introduction. And I'm excited to chat with you about small businesses, one of, our, 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 one of the passions that we have in common. Yes, for sure. So let's dive right in about it, because Likeable Local is, is your software product, and you work with small thousands of small businesses to automate their social media. So I would love to know your thoughts around, you know, I think a couple years ago, we were still trying to convince business owners that social media was important. Now I think they get it, but the, their challenge now is more around how do I do it? Where should I start? What are those, you know, those common best practices? So tell us a little bit about what the challenges are that you see with small businesses and some, some tips that you share with them most often. Yeah, I mean, the number one challenge that small businesses have when it comes to social media is the number one challenge that so small businesses have when it comes to many things, which is time. They don't have any time. <laughs> you know, small businesses are super, super busy making sure that uh, customers are getting served and new customers are coming in the door and their employees are taken care of. And small businesses often leave so many things like social media for the end of their uh, workload and that, that never comes. Comes. And so they just never end up um, having the time to do social. So the reason that we built Likeable Local is to automate as much as possible in social media. And so that's my, my overall recommendation is automate as much as you possibly can. Now, you can't automate everything because there has to be some authenticity, some humanity into your social media, but you can automate a lot. You can, you can, you can schedule out your content. You can... Um, uh, schedule and automate some of your advertising. You can create la some landing pages. You can curate content all at once so that you're not going back every day and scrambling to find new content. Mm -hmm. And I think that the more that you can automate and get done in specific chunks of time, the more you can build a great social media program despite the fact that if you are anything like the thousands of small business owners I know, and you're watching this right now, I know you don't have much time. I, I get it. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, I think you, with Likeable Local, you produce content for businesses, which is great because I find that a lot of them, they just, they don't know what content to share. So how would, and you talk a little bit about storytelling, a lot about storytelling and, and how businesses need to get better at it. So what advice do you give to those that are saying, look, I get it. I want to be on Facebook. I want to, I want to do stuff on LinkedIn, but I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know what kinds of content to share. Yeah. So I would say we actually have a, a, a free uh, program called uh, Idea of the Day. Um, and, I get it uh, in my inbox. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. You can, you can, uh, we actually have a free program. You can sign up on Likeable Local site for Idea of the Day and get a free idea sent to you every day. Uh, the, the, the bottom line is you, you want content that your followers would uh, click the like button or share or retweet or favorite button too. And I like to say to everyone, don't think about content about yourself. Think about content that they would click like, favorite, retweet, share. And if you don't think your friends and followers would click that button, then don't share that content. So what kind of content is there? Um, I used to work for a radio, I, I used to work in radio, so there was a radio station in Boston called WEEI, and I used that acronym, WEEI, E, entertaining content, E, uh, engaging content, and uh, I, inspirational content. Uh, entertaining, engaging and educating, and uh, inspirational. So if you can create content, and not, by the way, you don't need to create all this content, you can curate it. Mm -hmm. You can find it, There's so many great resources have created content that you can, you can take and share. As long as it's not literally your competitor's content, share somebody else's content, they win, you win by sharing great content, and your customers win because they get to, to enjoy that content. Awesome, and you talk in your book about um 
about how to win in social media on Facebook as well as other platforms. What do you recommend for small businesses who just, they feel like they should be on every platform because they're told they should be. But again, yeah. going back to the timing thing, do you, do they have yeah. to be everywhere? Yeah. You don't have to be everywhere. You know, uh, you got to think about where your audience is. And if you don't know where your audience is, ask them. Um, what I mean is if you're in business, you have hopefully some customers already. Talk to your customers. Hey, are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on LinkedIn? Are you on Instagram? Are you on Snapchat? Are you on Pinterest? You don't have to be on all the sites, but you probably want to be where your customers are. I mean, if you're an e-commerce company that sells women's clothing, you probably should be on Pinterest. If you're a uh, sports blog, you probably should be on Twitter. If you are a you know uh, a, 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 a fledgling consumer brand, you probably should be on on Facebook. If you're an accountant or an attorney, you probably should be on LinkedIn. So so think about where your customers are, where your prospects are, and those are the social networks you should concentrate on in the beginning. Okay. And you you dominate LinkedIn. I mean, you write so many articles and you know, I know that you have obviously you have a great following. A lot of people love reading your your articles. What let's talk a little bit about LinkedIn. I know you have a specific kind of um, secret formula for creating really great articles to get um, to get seen and shared. So talk about that. Yeah, I've been really blessed uh, as part of the LinkedIn Influencer Program. I've been writing for a couple of years. Um, I've had over 25 million page views and generated literally over a million dollars of revenue directly from LinkedIn. Wow. So um, I, it's an awesome platform. And what they did was they took the LinkedIn Influencer Platform and they extended it to the whole uh, world. So really anyone on LinkedIn can now write a blog and publish within LinkedIn. So I highly, highly encourage you, if you are in the B2B space, if you sell to other business owners, if you sell to other professionals, you've got to be blogging on LinkedIn. I, I, I tell my whole staff, I tell anyone that will listen, I – Think in headlines. So, so for me, it's not about um, writing an article and then figuring out what the headline is. It's about writing the headline, thinking the headline that's going to get people's attention, thinking of the headline that's going to deliver a promise of something awesome, and then writing the article. And as it turns out, the headline is about 90% of what it takes to be successful because mm -hmm. the bottom line is nobody has time. It's not just you. Nobody has time out there and they have to make a snap judgment about what they're going to click on and what they're going to read. So your headline is how they make that judgment. The other way they make that judgment is the picture that you use with your posts. So headline and picture by far most important. And then your blog post should be about 600 to a thousand words. Um, in, uh, lists are great. Numbered lists are great, but you don't have to have a list. And you should always cl close every article with two calls to action. One call to action, asking people to comment on the blog, giving some people some questions and asking them to comment because the number one thing, uh, the number one factor in virality on LinkedIn is the number of comments that blogs are getting. Mm -hmm. And then the second call to action or CTA as it's known in the industry is uh, how they should contact you, sign up for an ebook contact you to learn more, et cetera. Because, you know, content is important, but ultimately you're a small business owner. You want to drive leads. You want to build your business. And LinkedIn is a great way to do that, but you have to ask for it. Absolutely. And for somebody that's watching saying, Dave, I really want to write a blog or I want to start writing an article on LinkedIn, but I am just not a writer. You're so good at it. I'm not, you know, what, what should I do? They want it to be perfect. Hire somebody amazing like Kate. <laughs> No, uh, I mean, uh, uh, you know, we, we, we have a, we, you know, our company works uh, with, with folks. Um, it's mostly software, but we do have some added services for some folks that want some help uh, with writing. Um, but there's a lot of really, really great resources out there. Hopefully, if it's not you, you have somebody on your team that can write. I mean, social media doesn't have to be. Uh, something just done by the, the 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 CEO or entrepreneur or head of the small business. It's something that you know you can tap into your employees for help too, and it's great to empower your employees to 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 help you know help the social media uh, presence as well. Awesome. Tell us a little bit about the book. Okay, so uh, we've done three books now. My first. Um, that uh, just recently revised called Likeable Social Media, how to delight your customers, create an irresistible brand and be amazing on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, Pinterest, and more. I That's love a it. really, really long <laughs> subtitle. But uh, I'm, I'm very, very blessed. The book has been translated to 13 languages. Uh, it's been a New York Times bestseller and um, it still sells really, really well. Um, 
So I love this book, but I'm even more excited about my new book that comes out in March called The Art of People, 11 Simple People Skills That Will Get You Everything You Want. It's a little bit broader than just for small businesses, but it's really for everyone. Um, but I'm, I'm so, so excited because folks like uh, Barbara Corcoran and Lori Grenier from Shark Tank um, have endorsed the book. And, oh, that's uh, so awesome. Adam Grant, my favorite author, author of uh, uh, of uh, Give and Take and uh, a new book called Originals with Sheryl Sandberg, uh, he endorsed the book. He said uh, it, it, the book is a lot like How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie, only better suited for modern times. And wow. obviously Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People is a complete business classic. So just to be put in the same you know paragraph as that book is like insane for me. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited about the book. And um, you can, uh, I think it's available at buyartofpeople.com. That is awesome. Okay, if you were going to get a deal with any one of the sharks on Shark Tank, who would you want it with? Uh, it's great. I mean, I know I know Barbara and Lori personally, so um, it would be hard to not say them. <laughs> that that being said, considering that I I have a software company, I, I think uh, Mark Mark Cuban would be great to work with as well. Cool. All right. And, and Dave, you talk a lot about company culture. You talk a lot about leadership. You wrote an article that got a lot of traction called 11 Simple Concepts to Becoming a Better Leader. And I encourage everyone to read that article. But before we go, tell people three, three of those 11 to become yeah, a better Yeah. So my leader. favorite three are, um, my favorite is listening. I think listening is the most important and underrated skill in social media, in business, and frankly, in life. Um, and if we just, if we stop Listen, waiting to talk and start listening better, we can improve uh, our leadership skills a lot. Um, my second favorite is gratitude, another to me totally underrated skill. Uh, I work on gratitude on a daily basis. I write a handwritten thank you card every single day. And gratitude is amazing because authentic gratitude is very powerful when, you, when you're in relationships, but the even more powerful aspect of gratitude is the effect it has on yourself. Gratitude is actually scientifically proven to impact your own mood and your own attitude. So literally, if I'm upset, gratitude makes me feel better. If I'm feeling great, gratitude makes me feel like ecstatic. And that allows me to perform better. Uh, and then finally, one more, I'm going to go with uh, authenticity, authenticity, like being the person that you are. Oprah Winfrey said if she'd realized that being her authentic self uh, would have made her as rich as she'd become, she would have done it a lot earlier. And um, a lot of us, you know, we struggle with like, the per can we be the same person at home and at work, uh, publicly and privately, online and offline? And my position is, yes, you can. And if you can be your authentic self, like that authenticity really breeds trust and trust breeds business. And so you actually can become a much better leader and a much better um, a business person by being authentic. And one of my favorite chapters in Art of People is crying is for winners. And the, the point is, if you can be authentic and vulnerable, you, you, you'll, you'll end up on top in the end. Awesome. Well, Dave, like I told you before this interview, I was, I've was i been following you online. I love your content. You're so great. And I've actually had the opportunity to talk to some of your team members over at Likeable Local. And they are just a, have been such a pleasure to work with and really, really great. So um, congrats on all your success and everything you're doing. How can, um, how can people find you? So um, one of my core values, I didn't mention this, but another one in my book uh, and in that article is responsiveness. So I'm a really, really big believer in um, in responding to each and every person that, that uh, tweets me and, and, and writes me. So even though I get literally over a thousand a week, I respond to every single one. So you can get me my, my, my handle, you know, just my name, Dave Kirpen, K-E-R-P-E-N. You can get me on Twitter, on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on Snapchat. Um, <laughs> And uh, if you want to go old school, you can email me, Dave at likable.com. And uh, I respond to emails as well. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. And it's true because I tweeted you and you tweeted me right back. And that's why we're on this call. So I very much appreciate it, Dave. Thank you so much for taking the time. My pleasure, Kate. It's been great chatting with you.